pulled all your posts for those for those eight to ten weeks going out, and now you have another eight to ten weeks to produce the next eight to ten weeks worth of, of, of content. That means if your kids have a soccer game, you can go ahead and, and do that. If you play uh, hockey in your in your as a hobby in your free time, you can go play and go in the evenings and play hockey and not have to worry about the website scheduled post that needs to go out tomorrow morning. You know that's already set and done for the next eight weeks. Uh, if you happen to get sick, unfortunately, and, and are out of the office, that doesn't delay the posting schedule for your blog. Okay, so content strategy is there. Next up is uh, the tweet maintenance plan, what I call the TMP. All right, you need to go ahead and validate your web coding using the validator through w3.org. Okay, so if you go to validator.w3.org, you can go ahead and uh, and see what issues are on the website. And when it does it, it goes ahead and gives you, I, I, for purposes of time, I can't really get into this, uh, but it goes through and it tells you all the various things that might be a problem with your website. And, and it gives you a sort of checklist of how to fix them. Okay, so it says, this issue is a problem. You need to fix it. Now, it might give you a whole bunch of HTML and CSS, which are web coding language uh, terms uh, of, of error, you know, what it calls errors. And those probably are not that big of a deal. But if it says warning or you know something that's a high-level red alert, then those are things that you probably need to deal with. But the validator at w3.org is a really great tool for doing that. Uh, you need to decide with yourself, and you're going to periodically check the website, okay? Because many times <laughs> I'll find that people have not been to their website for quite a long time, and I'll uh, sit down for a consultation with them, and they'll they'll want to talk about the web marketing, and I'll have to explain to them, you know, your website isn't live, and they'll say, of course it is. It's we we set it up two years ago, and uh, unfortunately the website went down at some point, and it's been doing nothing for them, if not giving them a bad professional image, because you didn't actually go check the website. So someone needs to know that they need to go check their website. Okay. So are the lights still on? All right, uh, this is the website. There. Is the text up to date? Is pricing up to date? Are the products up to date? Do you have your phone number up to date? Have you moved recently? Is the address up to date? You need to go there on a regular basis, whatever it is, you know, maybe monthly, maybe uh, semi-annually, just to check and make sure that these particular items are up to date. WordPress gives us a really great tool to be able to do that. It, it has what's called private pages. You can create a page on the website that is private only when you're logged into your own WordPress installation. Do you see it? And therefore, you can go ahead and, and just see those pages and only you and the people who have access to those pages can now see those pages. So you can say, uh, you can create a, a, a staff level in edit flow that says staff. Now only the staff will be able to see private pages. And now you can go ahead and create those private pages and uh, you can have your maintenance plan. You can just call the page maintenance and now put all that information